Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye. I am back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. And we are here in Old Berg, right outside this deep 6 meter hole. And we're going to try out doing a little bit of fishing here for a change. I haven't been here, to be honest, very much. And I thought I'd give it a, a new try. But I'm going to try to see if we can't find us. Apparently they're called Brim, not Bream. I was corrected. And of course everybody I hear says Bream, so I guess that's just because we're all American. But that's what I'm trying to go for at the moment. I mean catfish should be fine too, but I'm gonna stick with this. And I think I'm gonna put some red worms on this to be honest because it might give me a shot at getting an eel too because they like to be out deep like that been a while since I caught an eel I've been kinda trying to but haven't had much luck with them what the heck I don't know why that was impossible. That seems ridiculous. Anyway, we've got those set out. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull out my spinning rod. And we're going to see if we can't scare up a catfish in the deep water here. Let's see here. I'm going to... might start with this one. Another one I would like to try is the Icon Fat M105. This one here, the Saturi 22 grams, is supposed to be good as well. It looks like we've already got us a bite off one of the feeder rods, though. I think it's off the worm. Yep, quit. Anyway, let's start off again with this one. We'll see if they... Okay, that's a definite bite. Alright, let's see what we got here, guys. Perch. Just a little one. kind of a poor cast but we'll give it a shot if we just keep getting perch I might switch over to something else unfortunately I don't have any more night crawlers and that's probably what they would go for but I'm gonna have to come up with go to get that so anyway let's go ahead and get this set up Change our speed here. And this one we can just pull right through the hole. And because I've been practicing spinning so much, it shouldn't do too bad here. Alright, looks like we are getting a bite. Let's go ahead and bring this in. Worm again, it looks like. If this is another perch, I think I'm just going to switch over to something else. Oh, it's a chub. Little chub. Yeah, let's let's put something else on here. Let's see. What would they go for? Hmm. Well, let's, let's throw the fish out there. I know it's a little on the warm side, but... It will get later. I 
and I had planned on changing this trying to decide which one though let's give this one a try the Saturi 22 gram 003 There's a lot of fish over here by this these lily pads. Little bitty pike. Just seeing little pike though. Nothing big at all, but I actually caught one that was smaller than that, if you can believe it. <laughs> A lot of babies. There we go. There's another one. the heck it's perch I can tell it from the distance it's a nice perch too all right let's try throwing over there first I thought that was a log out there but it's not it's actually a reflection of that building over there in the settlement now there is a log over right out right there but I thought that was a log and it's not. Yeah, I think most of the time the catfish, the eels, and the burbot seem to go more for the live bait on this particular map. Unfortunately, I don't have any night crawlers. Not sure how I'm going to get any either. I might have enough gold left to buy some. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. We have a bite. For some reason I cannot seem to put this down. There we go. Yeah, he is not messing around. Yep, we have a something here, guys. Let's put the tension up a little bit. Patience held out, and we have something decent. Now we just gotta make certain that he doesn't get off the darn hook. That's been happening to me a lot lately. He is pulling. Okay, I think I'm starting to gain on him a little bit. Oh, this is a catfish. This is a catfish. For certain. Yep. He's like a lead weight. This may take a minute or two, guys. Alright guys, I have been at this a while and this guy is not budging much. 
I seriously need to upgrade these feeder rods. Finally, I think he finally let loose. It's like they plant themselves and they do not want to let go, but it looks like I'm finally, well, I was making progress. See, as that's, that's turning about the same speed as I'm cranking, so it's not helping a whole lot. Darn. This fish can be caught with this rod, I guarantee it. But not easily. Well, guys, this may take a while, but I'm just going to be persistent. Okay, we're getting a little bit of ground on him. Not much, though. Not sure when he actually... I'll have to check the footage later, but... I've been at this for a while. But now it's cloudy, which means that the temperature is going to go down and the fishing is going to get even better over here, hopefully. Oh, it's going to rain, too. Somebody just caught the weekly record eel. And I wish it had been me. I really want to catch an eel. <laughs> it's been a long time. Looks like finally getting him to move. We are finally getting him to move. had to boost my energy level a little bit eat some food a little alcohol that kind of thing but I think we're gonna get him in here we're probably gonna need the net for this guy though there he is there he is he's coming He is definitely a catfish. I knew he had to be. Well, that's not too bad. 5.738 kilograms. 1,935 XP. He's not bad. Yeah, we'll keep him. Sounds like we got some activity already on that, and I knew we would. I'm gonna throw that one back out. See if we can find us an eel. Okay, these are those wheats, and it looks like this is not a bad sized fish. The rain has brought us some luck. See what we got here guys. There we go. I don't remember who said that, but they said the bream were out there in that hole. Now that we know what they're going for, I'll tell you what guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put a light down here. Whoops, wrong button. There, that should help. And we're going to toss that guy right back out there again. I would love to get a good size bream. Brim, bream. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that the spin casting isn't going to do all that great right now. So I think what I'll do is I'll switch over to this one. Let's see, what do I have the Yep, somebody told me to try 1.2 meters, and it looks like we're getting another bite here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and check this out. Okay, it's a little too shallow there, but this is... Oh, my goodness. Let's put the friction brake on here a little bit. We're going to get this guy in. We might be getting us some bream tonight guys here he comes another one very nice 1583 hey as long as they're biting we're gonna keep fishing Tell you what, let's grab this. Because we fought so long to get that catfish in and the XP was just about the same. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and put something on there that the bream like. And we're going to go after bream at this point. Let me see here. I think... Let's go with the pearl barley. All right, let's go ahead. Pull this out. We'll try recasting that. I think I'm going to throw it over here this time. Oh, it's still not deep enough. Alright, so we'll just take it down. Let's take it down to a meter. That's got it. Alright, I guess we wait. Well, looks like we got us another bite. Hold on, just... Nice. Silver brain. That's a different species altogether. They don't get as big, but they're worth just about as much as one of the big ordinary brims, and that is getting a bite too. Hold on. It is now morning, the sun is rising, and I don't know, we might be at the end of getting the bream, I'm not sure. We're going to leave them out for a little while. Oh, now it's sunny. It's like there was never any bad weather. <laughs> well, I think we're going to go back to spin casting, guys. Alright. Now we are still getting bites. All 
Alright, we are going to try casting us a few different places this time. I'm going to try over here. Yeah, there's something on there. I thought I saw something tugging. A little bitty pike. Probably the one of the smallest I've seen. <laughs> ah, there we go. There's something on both of them, I think. This one for sure. Let's see. No, he wasn't that serious. There we go. Little perch. Okay, I'm going to switch baits again, or lures again. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do here. I might try this pink one. I don't know how well it does here exactly, but we'll see. I mean, it's on the leaderboard for pike. There we go. Okay, that one, this guy has some... Yeah, I better put some pressure behind it because he is trying to fight this. It's a pike too, I can see his long body. 2.426, not bad. Not bad at all. Sounds like we got us another bite on the other one. Mm. I want to be absolutely certain because sometimes they don't really latch on, they just kind of mouth it. Well, let's go back to this for a minute. Let's give him a little time. Make sure he really wants that. Yeah, I think he does. <laughs> I'm pretty certain that he does. Ooh. Well, this guy's pretty good size. This might be my biggest brain here, guys. No. No, he just fought really well, I guess. He's not that big. Darn it. I would love to just get one liter board fish. Dark on it. I don't care what it is. It's Chinese sleeper, for God's sake. Well, this guy seems to be fighting pretty good. Let's see what he is, guys. Yeah, they're definitely biting really well on this lure.
another decent pike. They've been running in between around two and a half kilograms. Whoa, there we go. Well, this lure is kind of kind of hot. Okay, he's not quite as big, but Hey, as long as they keep biting little bit better yep 1.496 I'm not gonna throw it out quite as far as I've been a blue bream huh have not caught one of those That one's not too small. Very nice. There we go. 2.392. Just off the shore here. Yeah, this is a great spot for pike here, guys. Pretty much anywhere around here they're going to be found. Alright guys, it has been pretty quiet and I think we are going to go ahead since it's night. I'm going to just leave these here because I'll probably hold them back and do some more fishing. But I am going to go see what kind of cash these guys brought me. Caught quite a few of them, nothing monstrous, except for the catfish. The catfish is pretty good size. But, let's go see what we can bring, because sometimes the cafe might be asking for a species that we have and get a lot more cash for them. So let's check that out. Always check the cafe, guys. Always check that cafe. I think while I'm here, I'm going to buy some treble hooks for those lures that are missing them. Let's see what they got here. See what they're wanting. Looks like they're looking for crucians, tents, grass carps, another crucian, burbot, white bream, eyed, and grass carps. Good gosh. You mean they can get up to 34 kilograms here? Lord. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, I don't even, I th think I got a white green, but I don't think it was anywhere close to being big enough. I got one crucian carp that fits. Other than that, nada. Oh well, let's go check out the market and see what we got for these guys. As you can see, we got quite a few of them. I mean, like this perch here. 5.30, 2.60, this pike, 5.42, 3.67, the silver brain, that little silver brain, $4.09, the catfish that we caught, $7.29. So 
but we didn't do too bad. This perch here, this is a big one, 6.52. So we did pretty good, guys. Funny thing is, the big bream didn't bring in a whole lot. The silver bream, as tiny as it was, brought in almost four, well, a little over four dollars. Yep, supply and demand is pretty strange, guys. Anyway, let's see what we get for the total. $74.37. That's not bad. Not for a day's work. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And guys, please subscribe because I am almost to 13,000. I'm just a little bit away. Anyway guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.